Hey, what's up? Marty here with GuitarJams.com, hanging out with Ben Powell. Howdy. Ben plays traditional blues, finger-style blues, yeah. I would say. I mean, you've got your own spin on it. Yep. yep. You know, your Southern California spin. That's right. It's, it's constantly <laughs> evolving. Um, but he's got a cool exercise. Um, you, can, you can explain it, but anyway, you can check out his music down there. He's a cool dude. Thank friend you, of mine. Thanks, friend man. of mine. So. Anyway, you, you go you go do your thing, yeah. man. I just want to show, uh, I was just teaching this to a student of mine this morning, and I mentioned it to Marty and thought this would be something good that y'all might enjoy. Um, basically, anybody interested in learning how to play uh, bottleneck guitar or fingerstyle blues, whatever you want to call it, um, there's a little something that, that'll help you get started. <clears throat> Presuming that you already have a little bit going. Uh, basically, this will exercise will aid in you mastering the alternate thumb or constant thumb, there's a couple different names for it, but basically, you want to get a groove going. All right, so this particular exercise will help you um, basically be able to play this style of music where it sounds like you're doing two things at once. You got your thumb going, holding down the groove, and then you're going to pick the melody with these two fingers on the treble strings, and that's basically the gist of it, and there's ways to go about learning that, and this is this is a good place to start. Can you um, talk about your tuning? I sure can. Yeah. Uh, this. A lot of these songs that I play in this style, and the, the tradition is you, you can use open tuning. And a good place to start is open D or open G, and they're both very popular. There's a ton of stuff out there uh, to to you know help you evolve in this style using those two tunings. Um, basically, if you're the say, one you're in right now, I'm in an open D. Okay, you said that already, yeah. right? Okay. No, I, don't, I don't know if I did, but yeah. this is basically how you get there from standard tuning: is you drop both of your E's to D, so you go down a whole step to D, and then this goes from a B to an A, so just down a whole step, and then your G string goes down a half a step from G to an F sharp, okay, and then your D stays the same, and then and then, and then your A string stays the same, and you've got your, your E drop to a D, giving you a beautiful open D chord, and that's essentially what an open tuning means, it's an open chord. And what you can do in that, when you're in an open tuning, you kind of get your thumb, I'll just give you a quick little demo, and I'll show you how you can start playing. look like that's a complicated thing but really all it is is you got your alternate thumb going establishing a nice groove and then something to do in an open detuning on the fourth fret on the fifth fret and the seventh fret okay those are our notes that are going to work real nicely in this tuning so you can put your bottleneck okay so what we're doing there is we're doing what, what's called a pinch you're striking these two strings the thickest and the thinnest at the same time and then coming down, and then another pinch, and then another pinch. And that thumb, it never stops. You can even take it back down. So it's not extremely musical, but it's a, it's a little musical exercise that you can do to help you get your pinch going. Train going by for the blues. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta have a train in the blues. That's why I play so many train songs. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, I live right by the train tracks. <laughs> On the wrong side of the tracks, but... Again, that's an exercise that you can, you can do forever until it's... See, it's all just based off the same thing. Get that nice, clean sustain. exercise less clanks the better uh, I can get into technique with you and I'll do that on other videos we'll, we'll cover the basics of the slide technique I just wanted to show you that nice little exercise to get your thumb going thumb get your groove then a nice little pinch 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 same thing Right that is your thumbs responsible for up here and you got your index finger for your B and your uh, middle finger for your thinnest strength 
and then I use this finger for other stuff, but that's, that's, a, that's a general thing that can help you get started, and uh, it's a lot of fun to, uh, to play this style of music, I'll tell you. Ben, thanks for the cool lesson. Oh, man, my pleasure. I hope it helps. I hope it helps. <laughs> I, th I, I was learning as I was watching, too. I mean, the little bit that I've delved into it from what you showed me before, I mean, it's just everything's about getting that doom, de, doom, really with the thumb until you just don't even think about it anymore. That's it. That's it right. It just man. happens. That's your rhythm. And then you start yeah. working on top of that. That's exactly it. It's yeah, really that's cool. Right. That's right. It's fun. It's a great old times tradition. And uh, if any of y'all keep it going, man, that's what it's, you know, it's just a lot of fun. It's a good base, too, for any style of music you want to get into. Yeah. Not just blues. And right down there is your music that people yeah. can listen to. Sweet. All right. You guys, thanks. See you guys later.